Shalom family, God bless you. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel, you're welcome. If this is the first time you're seeing me, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I pray it blesses you in the name of Jesus. And if this is not your first time, thank you family for always coming back. I love you and I pray for you always. I do not believe in coincidences. If this is your first time seeing me, I know that God sent you here for a reason. Maybe he has a word for me to you or he wants me to pray for you about something. I pray you stick around, around long enough to be able to benefit from that. Please kindly consider to become a part of this family by subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell so that whenever there is a new content, you are going to be the first to know. Today, I was just studying my Bible and I came across this verse and it resonated strongly in my spirit. It spoke strongly to me. 1 Kings chapter 5 and verse 4. This is Solomon talking. He says, but now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. There is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. Let me take it again. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. There is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. It means it is possible that you live a life that is void of adversary. You live a life that is void of evil occurrences. It is possible that God gives you rest on every side, peace all around. It is possible. That is why the Bible says that the blessings of the Lord make it rich and adds no sorrow. The Bible wouldn't say that if it were not possible. And here King Solomon is saying God has given him rest on every side. He is not fighting any battles. His father David fought a lot of battles and God gave him the victory. But to him Solomon, he didn't fight any battle. He had peace on every side. He had no evil occurrences. I want to pray that upon the life of someone. If it is possible, then it can become your portion. If it is possible that God gives you rest on every side, it means financially you have rest, maritally you have rest, health-wise you have rest. God is giving you all-round rest. In the name of Jesus, I want to pray that upon your life, that the blessings of God this season makes rich and adds no sorrow. You shall have no reason to fight. You shall have no reason to mourn. In the name of Jesus, you are sharing in Solomon's rest. Arako Shibrata. God bless Solomon in riches, in wisdom. Solomon was blessed with plenty and he had no issues. He had no worries. He had no evil occurrences. That same grace that worked in the life of Solomon, I transfer it upon you in the name of Jesus. I pray it becomes your portion in the name of Jesus. As you listen and connect to this video, that same grace that governed the life of Solomon, God blessed him on every side, gave him rest on every side. I pray it becomes your portion this year in the name of Jesus. It becomes your portion this year in the name of Jesus. God is blessing you on every side. La Koshibrata, maritally you shall be satisfied. Financially you shall be satisfied. Health wise you shall be satisfied. God is giving you rest on every side. If it were possible for Solomon, it will be possible for you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the blessings of God make it rich and adds no sorrow. Even as God blesses you this year, it comes with no sorrow in the name of Jesus. It comes with no sorrow in the name of Jesus. You are walking in the same dimension that Solomon walked in. You are walking in the blessings of God that comes and adds no sorrow. God is giving you rest on every side, rest on every side, rest on every side in the name of Jesus. That is becoming your portion. I intercede for you. You you are partaking of that blessing in the name of Jesus. If it is possible for one, it is possible for all. That same grace is transferred over your life in the name of Jesus. God is giving you rest on every side. On every side, you are experiencing the rest that God gives on every side. No evil occurrences, no evil occurrences no adversaries in the name of jesus because it is possible 
I transfer that grace to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May God be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. Nothing is going to be missing in your life this year and nothing is going to be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. God bless you.